Well, historically, decisions have been made by looking at things like media consumption, response rates, and some historical data on attitudes to different channels. Conducting specific individual research tends to be expensive to do for each campaign, say. But what demand does is to provide up-to-date tracking study of the way attitudes are changing, and they are changing, with the result that, for the first time, we've got a moving measure of attitude. This is really a function of two things. The fact that it's a monthly study, so trend data can be studied. And secondly, we ask about actual previous behaviour and likely future behaviour. We're already seeing that in the current economic downturn, it's having effects on attitudes to DM, but it may not actually be what marketers expect. We're also seeing potential responders to marketing messages who are not currently receiving them. So it's not just about cutting down the amount of spend on those unlikely to respond, but it's about identifying those potential responders that other tools just don't spot.